Hey guys, we're coming back at you live. We had a little trouble there getting live, so we're gonna give it just a few minutes, let some people get back in here. Um, so we'll be with you in just a few seconds here. So you wanna make sure that we're all good. All right, guys, welcome to Waterbox Live, coming at you 12 p.m. Eastern every week. This week we're going over the 20 gallon cube. You can see them here behind me. We're actually, this is a pretty exciting day because we're actually gonna put the corals and fish in the tank. My good friend Dean over here is gonna show you how to do that. He's gonna show you the corals we bought at Living Reef here in Orlando. It's gonna be a pretty exciting uh, live stream here for you guys. Again, I think we're probably one of the first companies to ever set these tanks up live here live on Facebook and YouTube. So we do deal with a few glitches here and there, but uh, we're going we're gonna to get this going for you. So we'll see you here in just a minute. What is happening, everybody? Listen, thank you so much for checking in with us today. Uh, but first, I'm, I got my hands in the tank. I've been working on this here all morning. Um, but we did go to Living Reef Orlando to go pick out some livestock, some inverts, some corals, some fish. So we're going to show you that video. But before we do, go ahead and share this stream. And we're going to go ahead and give away a Waterbox 20 Cube to some lucky person here who shares this live stream right now. You're going to win this 20 gallon cube. Not this one, a brand new one. We're going to ship it to you in a box. But here, go check out this video at Living Reef Orlando. All right, guys. So here we're going to, we're going to queue up a video here of us traveling over to Living Reef. So pretty cool video. It's about seven minutes long. We're going to go through the process of picking out your fit corals and fish and everything like that. So take a look. Hey guys, we're at Living Reef Orlando. And here, very exciting day. We get to pick out the livestock. This is everybody's favorite part. Favorite, favorite part. Why are we here? Because Living Reef is one of our flagship stores for Waterbox. They carry almost every product we have, and it's a great store to pick out any livestock. Yeah. You man, the selection they have here is incredible. Fish, corals, invertebrates. Man, they've got it all here. Come check it out. Caught my attention right off the bat, guys. One of my favorite fish. Wow. Royal Brahma. Okay, come check this out. Look at this guy. He's half purple, purpley pink, and yellow. Great specimen, guys, for a 20 gallon water box. Very easy to keep. Uh, you'd only really need one in your tank. And man, it really gets a nice pop of color. That would be a great selection. I think we we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. Guys, clownfish is everybody's favorite. They've got a huge selection here, all different types, different varieties. But these caught my eye. Come check these out. Right here. You know, Dean, I really love these because they're so bright for the classic clownfish. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they're feeding these guys, but man, the color is so intense. We're gonna have to pick up a couple of these guys for our tank. Guys, another great fish to keep in your water box 20 is the Bangai Cardinal Fish. They're a very, very unique shape. Check these out. 
The reason we're picking these guys out is also, they're not going to get very big. Uh, they can be kept in smaller tanks. They're a great community fish. Very, yeah, very peaceful. Yeah. Great, great tank mates. I think we're going to go ahead and grab one of these guys. Guys, now it's time to pick out the corals. A lot of choices, a lot of choices. So, a lot of stores and a lot of people, Rich, are moving to frags. What is a frag? What they do is they take the mother colony mm -hmm. and they chop it up. Yeah, they so actually, guys, it's basically a yeah. fragment of the Absolutely. actual larger coral. Correct, correct. Now, these frags are much more affordable than a big mother colony. Right. So, if you're on a budget or you kind of, and remember, these things are going to grow, guys. So, you got to plan ahead. Um, but they have a huge selection here at Living Reef. Beautiful, beautiful corals. And you can see they have them all here. They look fantastic. I said these prices range from $20 all the way up to $100 on some of these frags. But they are going to grow. But you get a nice pop of color in the tank. We don't want it to all be one color. So another type of coral is a lot more the soft flowy types of corals. Yeah, guys, um, we, would, we would call those an LPS, a, a large polyp stony coral. Um, so in this particular aquarium, we're really wanting corals that are a little bit easier to keep and handle, handle a little bit higher nutrient level. So if you come, up, come on over here, I'll show you a euphilia or, or frog spawn corals as well. These are very colorful. They're relatively easy to keep, and the light that we chose would be great for these corals. Yeah, these are hammer corals you're looking at. And we also have some frog spawn corals right there. Come in different colors, different varieties. Green pinks, 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 torch really cool. corals here. Look at these guys. Real nice. I love the flow. You know, it really kind of it reminds me of the under, you know, like yeah, you're scuba know. diving. You it's know, like it this makes the tank look alive. Yeah, it makes it look alive. Once again, these things range all the way from twenty dollars up to hundred dollars as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pick some of these guys out. I think it'll look great in that water box. Guys, we showed you some of the LPS corals. Also, there's SPS corals, small polyp stony corals. You can see here, uh, they have a little bit more requirements than the others. We need what? More flow? More light. More light, more chemicals. We're really gonna have to be really honed in on our, uh, our skills here to keep these. So Dean, I don't think we're gonna actually keep these in our 20 gallon, because they're a bit more demanding, but when we set up a water box platinum reef, now that's the tank that you're going to really get a nice SPS acquiring of. Absolutely. Guys, the water box is going to get some algae. Why do we have algae? Well, as you put that fish food in there, and we had the fish, and the rock, and the bacteria, and we got the light growing, it's going to grow. So we got to keep that under control. So what we need is some invertebrates. We're going to need some snails, some crabs, some shrimps, they have a huge selection here, and you can check them out. They got little cleaner shrimps. They got uh, snails here on the glass. Really, really, we're gonna have to get some of these. Uh, we call them a cleaner crew. We are back guys i hope you enjoyed that video at living reef we had a great time over there I've, as i said i've been working on acclimating these fish and corals uh, for a few hours now um, this morning um, as you see i've already got a bangai car and already into the tank um, but let me explain real quick how to acclimate your fish to your water box so we got a drip line here guys that we started and we actually put it through the overflow teeth to, to get that siphon going and the, the water comes through here and basically you want to create a siphon and the water will be coming out the other end of this tube. So you want to put a, a little knot in there and kind of slow down the speed of the drip. Um, so you just want a nice, you don't want to flood it too fast because we're trying to get that pH, get the temperature, uh, the salinity, all these levels to kind of really gradually come up for the fish. Dean, how long would you typically acclimate these fish for with the drip method? Uh, I, if you could do an hour, that would be fantastic. I okay. mean, that would really be fantastic. Um, but a minimum, bare minimum, 30 minutes, bare minimum. So we've got that acclimated, guys. And um, as you can see, we've got uh, 
two cool little clownfish in there. We got the little baby ones, the smallest ones we could find. We also got some little crabs in there. Uh, really, really great. So we'll go ahead and put these guys into the tank. Dean, what I like about these clownfish too is they're actually cultured. So these, these are bred in captivity. It's very sustainable for the hobby. And they're, most importantly, they're relatively easy to keep in these aquariums, especially this 20 gallon aquarium. Right. Also, let me re remind everybody, share this stream. We're giving away a 20 gallon cube at the end of this. Uh, definitely share the stream and we'll pick somebody random to go ahead and get that. Let me go ahead and get these little clowns here. Mitch. All right, look at these guys. Welcome to your new home. Your new home, guys, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish, guys, beautiful. And as far as these little crabs, I usually like just putting them right in my hand. Now, what these crabs are good for, Dean, is they keep the live rock clean. They eat a lot of algae. They'll eat a lot of the, you know, they, eat the, they clean the tank. Look, I you mean, can see them already moving. Look at these guys. See them? They're already taking off. Super, super nice. They're going to keep, as you said, they're going to keep that algae down. It's going to be a real... It's real important that in a, in a tech, really any reef aquarium that you invest in what we call a cleaner crew, Dean, because what the cleaner crew is going to do is they're going to keep, they're going to clean up the algae, they're going to clean up the detritus. They're just going to keep the overall tank in a better shape because they're cleaning it up. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's really that simple. Absolutely. Because, you know, the algae is going to grow, the light, the bacteria. Now, also, guys, we want to let everybody know the reason that we are going ahead and adding livestock today. Um, over the last week, we've been adding bacteria to the water. Um, we've also tested the water uh, to get a nitrate reading. We've also checked the salinity level of the tank to make sure it's, it's correct. Um, so we've already prepared all this. We're kind of speeding up the process than a normal natural process only because of all that, that right. live rock, the live sand, mm -hmm. the bacteria. Um, the really uh, make also, sure Dean, an important thing to mention is we've, we've chosen corals that are relatively easy to keep. They're not real demanding. Yeah. They don't need a lot of light. They can deal with a little bit higher nutrient level and things of that nature. So we're able to add these corals a little bit quicker to get a, a really nice mixed reef system set up in a pr relatively short period of time. You don't have to go about it this way. You can go slower. We always recommend nothing really good happens fast in a reef aquarium. So take your time. Um, we've done this. We've been doing this for a long time. So we know kind of where we need to land, but where our parameters need to be. Absolutely. And when we're actually comfortable to add fish and corals to the system. Correct. Wow, look at that, guys. That is some uh, beautiful recordia there. Orange recordia. That will spread. Really, really nice. This here is green star polyps, guys. They're closed right now. But hopefully in just a few minutes, they should start popping open. Um, it's kind of like a green carpet of grass. Very, very Yeah, cool. Dean, that's one of my favorite corals. And a lot of people... Just, they frown upon them because they grow so fast, yep. but that's what I love about it. Dude, they're perfect. bright, they carpet the thing, the, the rock, they, they're real wavy in the water. They just look really, really cool. Uh, and did you mention the, look at those recordia you just put Yeah, this there. recordia nice. here, beautiful. I mean, they're going to open up, they're going to they're gonna spread, beautiful color. Also, guys, you want to make sure that when you're putting corals in at first, um, not to put them up too close to the light. We want to kind of understand the requirements, the light requirements for each of these corals. Um, so you want to slowly acclimate them, bring them up. Because if you bring them up too high to the light, it can almost burn. Uh, the light is too intense for them. Mm -hmm. So, but all these corals that we're picking, that we picked out, are fairly, uh, can go anywhere in the tank. Here's a nice little leather we picked up, guys. That'll, uh, Get nice and big here. We'll stick this guy right in here. That'll be really, really nice. And I got one more. Dean, what kind of leather coral was that that you just put in there? Was that the Nephthia, I believe? Yeah, it's a this one here. It's it's like a um, very similar. It's a Nephthia, uh, kind of like a cult coral mm -hmm. uh, family. They grow very, very quickly. What's really nice is when you put that particular coral and it opens up under this uh, aqua illumination light, it actually kind of changes its color a little bit. It gets a really nice green fluorescent hue to it. Actually, this guy here. You also want to make sure that the corals are not too close together as far as touching. 
because I said they're gonna sting each other, guys, as they grow. Um, very nice. And for some of those hardcore guys, we got a little Monty oh, here. Oh, Sunset Montipora. Sunset Montipora. It's on a frag. And you see, guys, what happens is they grow these corals on this plug. And what happens is as the coral is growing, it's moving over and it's growing over. And it'll uh, do the same thing on the live It'll rock do the same thing on the rock. Yeah. Correct. So a nice and crusting coral. Yes, yeah, so if you wedge that in there, this coral will continue to now spread onto the rock. It'll be really, really nice. I think that's all we picked up, Rich, at the thing you can see here. Really, really great. Guys, the tank is gorgeous. Um, now, also, we set earlier this week, uh, there's a timing uh, on the app for the AI Prime, and there's actually, it was very easy. It actually said, you know, uh, set schedule, and you just click the button, and it'll automatically ramp up and ramp down the lighting uh, to the proper parameters of, of what you need. You could also tweak it if you wanted to, adjust the greens, the reds, the blues, uh, but we really kind of like the color of the Prime on the Waterbox 20. It came out really, really great. Uh, once again, it's whisper quiet. Man, so Dean, let's talk cool. about now that we have the corals and we have the fish in the system. Yeah. What is it that we need to do on a daily basis or a weekly basis to maintain these corals, maintain these fish, keep the system very healthy? So starting from on a daily basis, what's some things that you would do? Well, daily I'm checking to make sure the tank is topped off, right? Because um, now what's going to happen is. Do not add salt water. If this water level drops in the tank from evaporation, don't add salt water because the salt does not evaporate. So you actually have to add fresh water to the tank to help keep the salinity at a constant level. Right, because the salt's not gonna evaporate, only the fresh water. Absolutely, right. So we wanna add fresh water, we wanna make sure that everything is running properly, the, the filter socks aren't clogged up. Um, we wanna make sure the temperature is correct all the time. Um, and then as far as feeding, once a day, small pinch of food. It could be frozen, it could be flake, it could be a pellet. Uh, remember, these fish, there's not a lot of fish in here. We want to keep that, that level as low as possible. Right, because overfeeding is going to be the key determining factor of how polluted your tank gets. You overfeed, yeah. you're going to get algae, your nitrates are going to go up, your phosphates are going to go up, and that's all going to feed algae. So these, fi these fish don't need very much. Their stomachs are tiny, they're the size very, of their eyeball, yes, right? Yes, yes. So very a couple cool. pellets a day is really about the maximum amount that you're gonna to need to feed these fish. It's gonna yeah. keep your water clear, nutrients down, corals healthy. Yeah, but now that we have the corals in there, <clears throat> we're gonna to have to monitor a couple more parameters that we normally wouldn't do on a fish-only system. So these, you gotta check your calcium levels, your alkalinity, and magnesium. Those are your three main ones that you wanna check. Um, right. Also your phosphate level. Um, so you gotta get a nice balance uh, with the tank. Now, if you're doing regular water changes, like we said, if you're doing you're changing 10% of this water, you know, once a month, um, you're gonna get a replenishment of those uh, mm -hmm. mi minerals into the water, um, but also the corals are gonna be consuming some of this as well. So, um, as the corals are growing, it's, it's absorbing uh, these nutrients. So we have to constantly kind of check that. We might be tweaking a little bit. We'll do some more videos on how to actually dose properly, mm -hmm. um, you know, some calcium and alkalinity. But if you're doing regular water changes on a simple tank like this, you should have really no problem. I mean, it should right, be real, right. fairly easy to, to maintain. Um, also, let's talk about the size of the tank, Rich, real quick. This is uh, the 20 water box cube, beautiful tank. Um, Man, it's just it's just gorgeous. Right. So we guys, we this is the water box cube range. So the water box cube range is just as it states. They're cube. They're squares. We have a four gallon, a seven gallon, right, Dean? Yep. A ten, a fifteen, and what we've been doing this particular reef setup is is 20. the twenty gallon Absolutely. system. All in one system. That means underneath there's no sump. Just what you see down there is just power cords. Yeah. Um, all the filtration is built into the back. We are not running a protein skimmer. Because of that, we're gonna do more frequent water changes to keep the nutrient levels down. Correct. Also, this tank, guys, is $199. Okay, I mean, this is The tank itself, the, the cabinet yeah. is separate. The cabinet is separate. But this particular Starfire rimless tank retails in the United States for $199. So, really good value, really easy to set up. 
If you're looking to get into a reef aquarium, this 20 gallon tank is perfect for the starter. I mean, it's really, really sharp, guys. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the, uh, in the stream for us. Um, also, we're getting ready to head out to Reef of Palooza here tomorrow. Um, we're going to be showing some water box up in New York if anybody's around. Um, definitely yeah, if, you're, if you're attending Reef of Palooza, we'll be heading up there. It's this weekend, yep. I believe. What is it? The date's on the 23rd, I believe. 23rd, yeah. 24th. It's a great, great show. Thousands and thousands of hobbyists show up. Uh, corals, tanks, equipment. Uh, really, really great time, guys. We're going to have all the water box sizes there so you guys can check it out. Um, answer any questions that you may have. But really, really, we're real happy with the way this 20 has really turned out. Um, I mean, it's really starting to take shape. Um, water's a little bit cloudy since I stirred it up with all the moving some rock around, putting the fish in. Uh, but it'll settle down here real soon. And all those corals will start opening up. Dean, most importantly, where can our audience buy this particular system? Yes. Well, we have some uh, online, major online guys that can uh, service you directly right now. Saltwateraquarium.com, mm -hmm. um, uh, waterboxaquariums.com, Dr. Foster and Dr. Smith, Foster and we'll Smith. Have them very soon. Uh, liveaquaria.com uh, is all. Also, your local retail store has full access to these tanks, guys. So all they have to do is give us a call if they don't carry it. We'll get those tanks over to your retailer and right. instantaneously you guys can If you guys it. are a retailer, visit waterboxaquariums.com slash become a dealer and we'll get you set up with a dealer account if you have a retail store. Real easy, real easy to get set up with us and you can have full access to all of our aquariums. Yeah, Jeremy also says here in the live stream that our videos are getting much, much better. We appreciate it. We are investing in these videos, guys. Uh, as you can see, we got some new equipment, we got some new lighting new everything we're really trying to step up the water box live for you guys um and really do some interesting things yeah we'll have some new shows coming yes too, new soon. shows uh -huh. um fun fun stuff i mean so we're really kind of trying to get the word out right. i mean increase the hobby guys that's the only way we're going to do this all right guys well we're going to uh we're going to leave it that here this is the 20 gallon cube you know in less than two weeks we got a full reef system set up here really easy to maintain Super, super hot, guys.